G'day everyone, my name's Alan Whitley from Whitley Boats in, in Melbourne. Today we've travelled about half an hour from the factory to a place called St Kilda Marina and we're just putting in and testing the new Whitley CW1650 which will be on display at the Melbourne Boat Show. This particular power package is powered by the Yamaha F90 and sits on a high quality McKay trailer. All our boats, as with all Whitley boats, all made locally in Melbourne. Um, this is a fiberglass hull, you can see nice and strong and tough. Um, it's a high quality McKay trailer, you can see that obviously uh, made locally as well. Uh, Elko winch on the front, spare wheel as well, it's a mechanically brake trailer. We've got a really nice moulded bow spit up the front here which enables us to have a really nice um, proper anchoring situation. This one's this particular package is fitted with a sav winch and we've got nice high quality bow rails and recessed side windows. So let's get her out on the water and have some fun. side of the 1650 as you can see it's a very stable boat um, for its size you know at uh, 5.3 meters uh, it is quite a stable boat uh, the package comes standard with a high quality Australian made uh, bimini top and obviously front and side clears are an option uh, which was selected on this boat got really good access right up to the front by just folding those two uh, zips up there and just popping those press studs obviously you can roll those up but we'll just fold that up for today at the moment and then basically you can open up the front windscreen Up out of the way. That just folds up like that, and you've got a front hatch that opens up. So you've got really good access up into the front bow for access to your anchor and that sort of stuff, or if you want to have a bit of a freshwater flick or that sort of stuff if you're up in the rivers. Um, this particular package has got a really nice wide open um, anchor roller spit that you can see out the front here. Um, and this one's fitted with a high quality sav winch. High quality stainless steel bow rails, obviously you don't get those on your alloy boats, you only have the alloy rails. In the front cabin, we've got standard is the, uh, the rubber flooring throughout that you can see here on the bottom, and also a uh, bunk infill cushions with under bunk storage as well, so you can get a bit of gear and lots of stuff in, in there out of the way, which is fantastic. Obviously got good access to your anchor, and obviously the uh, the two side windows give it really good um, access, you know, really good uh, uh, lighting and that sort of stuff up the front. So as we continue to move through the boat, at the dashboard here, we've got a, a seven inch Garmin Striker uh, fitted to this particular model. We've got our winch up and down button there. It makes uh, anchoring quite easily. Obviously our two Yamaha round gauges, uh, switch panel, nav lights and anchor lights are all standard, as well as the bilge pump. We've got high quality uh, foot footrest as well for you the driver and also the passenger. Um, the passenger seat is adjustable up and down and back and forth. Uh, and so is the, uh, the, the, the driver's side. Uh, as we continue to move through the boat, you can see it really good head height. As you can see, I'm quite tall, got plenty of head height under the rear Bimini extension here. This is an option, obviously packaged up on this one. Great thing about the little 1650 is it's freeboard. You can see how tall I am, how safe and comfortable the family's gonna be, um, you know, when they're fishing or when they're retrieving a, a, a squid or something like that. Um, standard on the package is these um, rubber um, steps on there. So when your mum's stepping on and off the boat, it's quite easy to step on there and she's not gonna slip and fall. You can see we've got nice carpeted side pockets. So you can put all your little squid squid jigs and, and bigger lures and that sort of stuff and just put them along there. Full length rod storage as well and plastic side pockets. Another point to note with regards to the back end of this 1650 is you can get your feet right in under the combings, which is fantastic when you're getting on a big fish or something like that, a couple of snapper in Port Phillip Bay. The rear lounge is quite a good setup. Um, it's got the um, kill tank in there which we can plumb up with, with live bait if you want to into the future. Um, this particular package is set up with the Ocean South bait board, a little plastic bait board. One of the beautiful things of how the back of the boat's set up for, for a smaller boat is these removable seats. So you can just basically remove those, put them up out of the way if you want, and you can get access right into the back there for when you're fishing and that sort of stuff as well. 
Um, you'll notice that um, we've got a little fuel filler as well, so it's got a proper 70 litre tank that you can see down the back there, and also a proper fuel filler. Four stainless steel rod holders, which we've got our, 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 uh, our, our, our rods in there today at the moment. Um, but the other thing to note too is mum's got a little grab rail. So if the kids are sitting there, got something to hang on to as well. Um, you can't see it here at the moment, but out the back there's two standard fiberglass molded marlin boards and also a, uh, a boarding ladder as well. So great little boat, very well pointed in the back end. Do a little bit of fishing, do a little bit of cruising, a little bit of trip up the Murray, um, tying the waters, uh, you know, skis or anything like that. It's just a great all round little package. Today we're going to try something different. We're recording to the drone from the driver's position of the 1650. But first I just wanted to touch on a few things. The key benefits of a fiberglass boat over alloy in this particular size 5 metre boat. The main benefits of fiberglass are obviously the, its look and appearance, but also its ride. Now, its ride is far superior to a pressed aluminium boat because we can work a lot more angles and that sort of stuff into the design of the hull. And you'll feel that a little bit later when we, when we proceed to get up onto the plane. But the other key benefit of fiberglass, particularly in the southern states, is how warm it is in, in composed to aluminium boats. Obviously glass as well, you get the good look. So enough about fiberglass versus alloy, that's an age old argument. I just want to put the boat up on the plane. So we've got the F90 that we mentioned earlier today. We're just going to transition to the rev range. You can notice, you'll notice straight away how quiet the Yamaha F90 is. So we're just proceeding up on the plane. We're doing about 2,200 RPM and doing about 12, 12 kilometers. We're just continuing up onto the plane. You notice how smooth and quiet the hull is. It just really pushes through up on the plane there, about three and a half thousand RPM, doing about 26 kilometers. And we'll just continue, just give a little bit of trim. So just trim up, trim up the boat just a little bit. As we continue through the rev range, just gonna turn around and chase the drone here today. Continue through the rev range, gonna put her up on the plane to get a wide open throttle. At the end of the day, there's nothing better than a McKay trailer teamed up with your Whitley. That's why we've worked with McKay's for over 30 years, to bring trailering exactly like this. Just nice and easy, straight on, hits the rollers, hits the skids, trim your motor up, and it's as easy as just driving it straight up. How easy is that? We had a great day. It's been a fantastic test of the new F-150 on the back of the SL20. We'll see you at the Melbourne Boat Show in a couple of weeks. Got some fantastic deals. Come down and see us.